Hey there, what is going on? Today I'm gonna make another donut. This is gonna be more symbolic, more simple, and it's gonna make a melty effect. Uh, in the previous video I did it, it was like more complex. I didn't show you how to, you know, refine it and all that stuff. So this one is going to be eventually more different. So, so yeah, uh, make sure you're on the field. So switch it from stroke. Right now I'm on the stroke. I'm gonna switch it. Swap fill and stroke right there. Now I'm on the Feel. I can choose another color so it won't be pure black because I won't see the 3D cl clearly. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna select the, uh, what is that, ellipse tool. I'm gonna create an ellipse, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle and uh, go to the effects 3D and revolve. I'm gonna increase the hole in there to like, uh, yeah, 12 is pretty good. I gotta go with 13. Okay, I gotta click okay. I forgot to make the, now I gotta make the lines actually. So I gotta put this right here. And um, let me select this, the rectangle tool. And now we're gonna draw a line this one's gonna be thicker, it's gonna be pure black. I mean, this is not pure black, but almost there. And uh, I'm gonna create a new copy. Press and hold Alt, then drag it and press Shift at the same time. And now I'm gonna make this white. So we're gonna go with uh, black and white nuances. I'm gonna press Alt again, drag it, press Shift. So I isolate it, leave it like that, and now press Control D or command D until it gets, you know, more copies. Uh, this should be enough. I'm going to make it simple as possible. I'm going to group this and go to the symbols. If you don't have the symbols, go to windows and select symbols. And now I'm going to take this and drag it right here into the symbols. I'm going to click OK. And now we have a new symbol. OK. Um, I'm going to put this away now and we're going to work with this. I'm going to go back to the options. So I'm going to go to the appearance. If you don't have the appearance, then again, go to windows and select appearance. Everything is right there and go back to the 3D revolve. Click it. If you don't have the preview activated, then activate that. And we're going to go to the map art. Uh, now here we're going to select that uh, symbol that we created. So it's right here, the new symbol for me. And it just appears here. If you move it, it can, you're going to put itself wherever it wants. I mean, wherever you want, sorry. And now I'm going to just expand this. Ooh, that looks wicked. What if I add some, a little bit more of these? I wonder if I can copy and paste another one control c now nah, i can't i'm gonna try to make it like this um yeah click ok click ok i still think it has like two less um lines so i'm gonna add a little bit more i'm gonna ungroup actually now it's uh it's a symbol right now so i'm gonna ungroup it and create, I don't know, ungroup it again. Interesting. Create a little bit more. Okay. Gonna select them and drag it to the symbols. Click OK. I'm gonna try it out this with a different one. Uh, 3D Revolve, Map Art, select the symbol. Oh, now this is one is more dense. As you can see, okay, I think we nailed it. Yeah, this one's better. Okay, I'm gonna create a new artboard so I can work separately with that. We're gonna expand it. So these are like fully editable and now I'm going to expand this stuff, okay? I'm gonna go to Object, Expand Appearance. And now I'm gonna right click, ungroup, right click again, ungroup again, and now Right click and release clipping mask. Mask. All right, I'm gonna select the top layers, which is this one, because underneath it's a lot of stuff going on and we don't want that. So uh, I'm just gonna select the, the top stuff 
and I'm gonna press and hold shift so I can select everything together like this I'm gonna drag it down I'm gonna delete this one uh, do the same procedure as in the previous video basically and I'm gonna zoom in see what is you know find you know search for some errors basically this is the error I'm gonna press Control shift plus the what is that right black bracket you can see down in the left corner the shortcut for this I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and now I just corrected these uh, mistakes and now look at that it looks fancy and now I gotta make it uh, I gotta melt it or how you want it uh, basically I gonna go with the rectangle tool this and just uh, you know create some rectangles here and hit it right exactly where you know they intersect I mean they bend and you just need to do the same stuff with all of them so I'm gonna speed this up a little so I just made it and now I gonna actually I gotta create a new copy so I got an original one and from here we're gonna um, readjust these so uh, just grab it from the bottom you know from this part and just bring it up you know and basically try to recreate you know a bending kind of uh, effect there I think this one's good I think I'm gonna go up with this so yeah something like this uh, it, it's not that bad but uh, it's not even perfect either but yeah I kind of like it I kind of like it now I think what if I make it like this I'm gonna leave it like this actually uh, what I'm gonna do now is select the direct selection tool and just click on uh, on, on on basically the rectangles press and hold shift select them all basically and uh, as you can see created these little circle things and you're just gonna pull it and nothing what oh yeah of course I need to make it separately because right now it's adjusting to the smallest one so you can see the same curvature as here and here which is not good for us and I'm gonna do it like separately so I'm gonna click on this and do it basically manually you know for every each of these and voila we got the melting donut of course you can uh, expand this I mean you know you can correct it with the what is it ship plus M I don't know the name of it I always forget the shape builder tool you can uh, cut stuff out you can uh, do your thing but uh, yeah mainly this is how you do this so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to check out the other videos also and have a great day bye bye